reinventive design for abnormally dense cars. Item number 4730. Object class Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Due to SCP 4730's tendency to manifest at random locations, complete containment is impossible at this time. When instances of SCP 4730 are located, Mobile Task Force New 2, save the clowns, are to be dispatched and are to dismantle the anomaly. The anomaly. SCP 4730 A specimens are to be tracked and guarded. Unauthorized personnel discovering SCP 4730 A specimens are to be given proper amnestics. Description SCP 4730 designates the manifestation of clown cars in sparsely inhabited regions. It manifests around areas with sizable Corridon. Footnote, also known as clowns from the Comoadia family, name and information provided through cooperation with POI-90958 Bambuzio Starswinger. The targeted specimens are a species of wild clown that have not yet been domesticated. They are non-sapient, primarily scavengers, and avoid urban settlements. Behavior-wise, they act similar to birds, and sometimes feral dogs. Populations Designated SCP-4730-A SCP-4730 seems to have also been repurposed, with various parts not commonly seen in clown cars. Quick aside, I feel like this article was inspired by the concept of clown husbandry, if you know what that is. SCP-4730 will manifest within range of SCP-4730-A, to which it will respond by inspecting the vehicle. SCP-4730 will wait for large instances of SCP-4730-A to enter, before locking the instances inside and preventing escape. Afterwards, words, to unidentified entities, SCP-4730-1 and-2, will arrive and remove SCP-4730 from the area, disappearing along with it. According to information from POI-90958, non-anomalous versions of SCP-4730 are popular toys for domesticated SCP-4730-A specimens. SCP-4730 A specimens seem to enjoy being inside the vehicle, and will keep entering it until it is full, unaware of its properties. It is unknown where SCP-4730 A instances are brought after being captured. Addendum 4730.58 Interviewed POI-90958 Bambuzio Starswinger Interviewer Junior Researcher Cosmo Aston. Forward. The following is an interview conducted with POI-90958 to obtain further information on the anomaly. POI-90958 agreed to cooperate with the Foundation, as he mentioned his disdain towards SCP-4730-1 and-2 instances. Begin log. Good afternoon, POI-90958. I appreciate your cooperation with us. It's Mr. Starswinger. And, yeah, anything to get those cursed poachers away from the precious wild clown populations. Um, can you elaborate on that? Did you read through my blog? Say there's illegal hunting of wild clowns... That. Are they dressed... people dressed as clowns, or... Can you repeat that? What? No, who does that? Nobody dresses up as clouds. That's weird. That's like... I don't know. What is the word? Furries. A teenager commented that on one of my posts. I don't know what that is, though. Anyway, these wild clouds being kidnapped by illegal poachers, being sold off on the black market to various places. Interesting. Do you know anything on how the cars and poachers manifest? They use what everyone uses. Time clouds. 
It's disgusting. I hate their exploitation of the breed. They're probably not even properly taken care of. They use the time clouds and probably some other temporal clown breeds to make portals in and out of this dimension. Happens with entire locations, too. <sighs> time clouds. Fate of my existence. That is a whole string of coherent words that sure don't make sense of sentences. So you're saying the poachers use the, um... Time clowns to transport the specimens to secondary locations? I'm saying that wild clouds don't have proper protection. So you have laws for other species, but not clouds? Like, we don't notice. <laughs> clouds are just as important as your elephants or rhinos, yet I don't see any patrolling for wild cloud herds or laws against poaching them. Well, I get the general public may not know about the clouds. We still need them for the people who do, though. It's a small world. You see, this is why I do what I do, because... Extraneous data removed. That was lovely, Mr. Starswinger. Do you have any idea as to where the clowns are being taken after being captured? Well, I sure do. Neither the circuses or the ranches. Nobody provides a better... F neither provides a better fate. Okay. That will be all for now. Thank you very much, Mr. Starswinger. It's my pleasure. Uh, you better catch those bastards, by the way. We'll do what we can. End log. Closing statement. Address is suspected to contain missing SCP-4730-A specimens. Were given by POI-90958. On the condition that the offenders would be reprimanded in some manner. As POI-90958's blog remains open to known members of the Clown Husbandry community. Told ya. But will be hidden from the public as the existence of domesticated cl domesticated clowns <clears throat> is unknown to the non-anomalous community. Addendum 4730.59 Mobile Task Force in New 2 arrived at the given coordinates of one of the suspected areas. Upon arrival, it was noted as a normal abandoned meat processing plant. During inspection, there was nothing explicitly out of the ordinary, nor anomalous. However, there were a log of items retrieved. A chunk of multicolored hair. A red ball with a gelatinous substance inside. A tape recording of a promotional video for Clowning About Ranches. A small scrap of unidentified meat. Analysis shows it to have some similarities to chicken. A torn document. Logging various purchases and sales. Behind the plant was also the outline of connected rooms. And one of the doors of the plant opened to the outside. Addendum 4730.60 Interviewed. POI 90958 Bambuzio Starswinger. Interviewer, Junior Researcher Cosmo Aston. Forward, the following is an interview conducted after the exploration of one of the given coordinates. From POI 90958. Begin log. You recognize any of these items? Oh. Oh my god. Why would you show me this? So you recognize them? These are clown parts. You're showing me dead clown parts. What a shame. When the task force arrived at the location, there was no sign of recent activity, except the imprints of rooms in the field behind it. I'm guessing this is as you use an excuse for everything. Time clowns? That sounds like the ranch. They're sneaky. They wouldn't have suspected the foundation to sniff them out, though. The odor's that, that, not that discreet. The video was a gem to find for us. It showed us a lot about clowns while we practically knew nothing. I knew already, actually. Are you familiar with clouds already? Nope. I watched the tape beforehand. I had my theories, though. Judging by the amount of objects left over, I doubt they thoroughly cover their tracks. The documents are a real find. How so? Well, you're, uh, you're on it for one. Bambuzio Star Swinger 2 Pieros. What? That can't be true. I had bought them from a noted genuine breeder, you liar! No, it's right here, see? Guess they weren't as genuine as you thought. My god. The whole entire system's fucking corrupt, isn't it? 
EOI 90958 is seen putting his head in his hands. That makes no sense as to how clouding about ranches was able to disappear before you came along, though. All information given to the Foundation is classified, I doubt it. Exactly. You must have a cloud in your ranks. What? You mean a rat? No, I mean a cloud. POI 90958 is then seen grabbing Researcher Aston's wrist before quickly rubbing the side of his hand. POI 90958 lets go, showing residue white grease paint on his hand to Researcher Aston. Did you not think I would notice? That will be all. Thank you. End log. Closing statement. Quickly after, POI 90958 was forcibly removed from the room. During the commotion, junior researcher Cosmo Aston was seen leaving the premises with a brightly colored unidentified entity, and the two seemingly vanished before they were caught. The whereabouts of Cosmo Aston remain unknown. Being honest, I just thought he was really pale. Agent Durian. <laughs>